It wasn't that long ago that lanterns like these with their replaceable AAA batteries were about as good as it got when it came to camp lighting. I think this particular model cost me close to $70. But fortunately for us, times have changed since then. What's up guys? Today we're talking portable camp lighting and these days you really are spoiled for choice when it comes to portable, rechargeable LED lights. But without seeing them in action, it can be hard to tell which ones are worth the money. Well, today we're going to be taking a look at these Innofox rechargeable LED panels. They come as a two pack, so it comes with two of those rechargeable light panels. Now at this point I'd normally take you over to the bench bust the box open and show you what comes in the pack. But if we open up the box, we'll see that it's actually completely empty. And the reason for that is I've already performed the unboxing and the two light panels are what's being used right now to light this shot. As you can see, here's the two lights on my bit of a makeshift light stand. And they're the only lights that I've got on in the garage at the moment. So definitely giving off a decent amount of light to say the least. What's more is I've only got these on their half brightness setting at the moment because the max brightness was just blinding me. So that's what they look like on their half brightness setting. So they're definitely putting out a decent amount of light, especially considering they're on half brightness at the moment. Even if it was to take one of these down and just show you how much light comes off one of those panels on half brightness, it's still a pretty impressive amount of light. Also, if you're noticing some horizontal lines on your screen, you're not going crazy. My camera is just not happy with this LED lighting and it's uh, playing up a little bit. Anyway, let's rewind things and find out what came in the box. Welcome to the past guys, and let's find out what comes in this box. So, we get the two light panels themselves, a small instruction manual, and also one USB recharge cable to charge up the lights. That's pretty much it that comes in the box. Taking a look at one of these light panels. They're nice and small, they fit nicely in the hand. There it is compared to my hand for a bit of a size reference. Quite thin as well. They've got this nice rubberized finish around the edge which gives it a nice rugged feel in the hand which is nice. Obviously there's our big LED on the front or LED panel. Um, on this top side we find the main power switch. Clicking that once turns the light on to its brightest setting which is, which is decently bright. Clicking it again turns it down to the second brightest setting which is what we were using earlier. And clicking it a third time activates disco mode so you can take it to your local rave. Clicking the button a fourth time turns the light panel back off. So on the bottom of the unit here we find a rubber flap and beneath that rubber flap we find a micro USB port used for charging up the light and a regular USB port that can be used for charging devices like your phone. So this comes with a 3000 milliamp hour battery built in which should be enough to charge most phones back up to maximum. On the back we get three options for mounting the light. The first is a standard slot mount so you can put in a, a screw and then hang the light on the screw. The second option is a fold out hook that can be used for hanging the light on pretty much anything. And the third and the most versatile way to mount this light is using the big magnet down the bottom, which we're gonna to put to the test shortly. Okay, let's talk specs. So these are apparently impact resistant. Yep, still working, so that one checks out. And they're also weather resistant, which is a big plus as well. They're not weatherproof, so you can't fully submerge them underwater, but they're fine in say the rain or under a hose. Well, safe to say that one checks out as well. So I already mentioned that these come with 3000 milliamp hour batteries. 
But what does that translate to in terms of actual light time? Well, the box suggests that fully charged, these should put out four to six hours of light. To be honest, I was a bit skeptical about that runtime, so I ran a little experiment this morning, I charged it up to full, turned it on, and sure enough, it ran for just under four and a half hours before it turned itself off. Now, it did look to me as though it dropped the brightness down after about five minutes or so, so you're not getting the maximum brightness for the whole four and a half hours, but honestly, you're still getting tons of light. Now, the next thing I wanted to test out is this magnet on the back here, because we've all had those products that feature a magnet, but when you actually try and attach it somewhere, it's barely got enough strength to hold up the device. So that's something I'm quite interested to test out. So like most four wheel drivers, the most common place you'll find mine is gonna be stuck under the bonnet like that. And for that job, honestly, that magnet seems to hold pretty well. I'll give the bonnet a bit of a shake around. It's actually pretty impressive. Like I can't shake that any more vigorously and it's staying firmly in place. Just to touch on that light again really quick while we're here, I'm really happy with that spread. It's pretty much filling the whole engine bay with uh, plenty of light to see what I need to see. So 10 points for magnet strength and 10 points for that flood as well. Well, that's pretty much all I've got to say about these rechargeable LED light panels. They're pretty bright, pretty durable, pretty versatile when it comes to mounting and run for up to four and a half hours on a single charge. And as a bit of a thank you to you guys for watching the video, I thought why not give this set away? So comment below your most creative reason for needing a set of lights like these in your life, and then Bianca and I will pick our favorite next weekend. You're a creative bunch as well. We've had a lot of fun doing competitions like this in the past, so I look forward to having a good laugh at all the entries that you guys come up with. Until then, thanks so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.